the second speaker is Mr. Devaraj. He is going to deliver his CC2. Before the meeting starts at 2.45, I was talking to him about the theme of the day, enjoy the little things in life. He told me that he is enjoying, especially in Medley Toastmasters. It took me a minute. Then I noticed that he is collecting the piece, <laughs> the renewal piece for more than 20,000 rupees. <laughs> Without further ado, I would like to ask the second evaluator, Mr. Sir, please explain about this role. Good evening, Mr. Devaraj is giving, uh, Postmaster Devaraj is giving his CC2, organized your speech. Uh, objective, sir, select an appropriate outline which allows listeners to easily follow and understand your speech. Make your message clear with supporting material directly contributing to the message. Use appropriate transition when moving from one idea to another. Create strong opening and confusion. Time? Time is 5 to 7 minutes. All the best, Devaraj. famous American poet says, don't judge a man until you have walked a mile in his shoes. It's true. We never judge others before talk to them or spend some time with them. We never judge others because we cannot be able to understand an entity outside of a boundary of ourselves. So we cannot judge. Good evening fellow Toastmasters and guests. Good evening. In the year of 1999, I was studying in fourth standard in government school. That time I was very short, thin, and then wearing a trouser shirt in school uniforms. My school blessed with a lot of wonderful teachers. But like other schools, in my school also, students said some nickname for teachers. They said, they said some nickname like as Baldwin teacher, and then thin teacher, fat teacher, like that. So most of the students easily identify the nicknames than original name. <laughs> I'm going to talk about one of my school teachers who was nicknamed as tall teacher also known as Periyavadhyaya is 6.3 inch height that's the begin the, begin the name of his nickname he, he punishes severely whenever students committed a mistake so he was considered as the most strict teacher in our school he was a pure atheist but ironically his name was Perumal and some students are moved to other schools solely because of his punishing tendency. In fourth standard, a tall teacher became my class teacher. So I extremely scared because of his punishments. One day I came out of my school during the break time. To my utter surprise, my mom and dad, my parents, are near, near, standing near the bus stop. I started running towards my parents, and after reaching, I take a long, deep breath and ask, where are they going? They tell me they are going to Coimbatore to attend my cousin's marriage. So, that time I was so emotional and then I started crying in the moment because I'm not going to be with my parents for the next two days and also convinced try to be with grandma for the next two days. But I again started crying and then my mom told me if you are take leave in school, your teacher will get annoyed and then he might be fail you. So you, you want to be in the same class one more year, like that in question. Suddenly, I heard a loud voice calling my name from near t shop. I just turned back and look who it is. That's my class teacher. I was totally shocked in my lifetime. 
my dad started walk to her, walking towards the teacher. So, in my mind, past memories of getting punishment from my teacher for not doing homework and some doing some playful things are are all running. So, and I started to my uh, requesting my dad to don't tell anything. I will not come to Coimbatore anyway. And my dad straightly go to the, my teacher and start tell everything. <laughs> and then, and again finally said, sir, give him some advice. <laughs> so my teacher listened to everything and then said the phrase which will change my viewpoint altogether. See, all the children children's are allowed to travel and be with their parents, even after few years, they don't have a time to spend with you because they have their works to do. <coughs> so now you take your son along with you and I will take care of him. I take care of everything. So I was totally surprised. Uh, I never think my t class teacher have kind enough to allow, allow me to coin the tool. But despite of being a strict teacher who, who stick the importance of <coughs> education and the attendance, but he will allow, allow me to go to Coimbatore. That shows his kindness and understanding the emotions of uh, children, which was never shown me till that time. So he wants me enjoy the little things in life. <laughs> then only I realized I wrongly judged my teacher. So after this incident, he inspired me for a lot of things. And then, so friends, don't judge anyone before talk to them or spend some time with them. Even your friends gossip about him, just think a moment and then to respond. So don't judge anyone, don't judge anyone, don't judge anyone. <laughs>